Hey guys, today I'm bringing you a cute Harley Quinn look. She is, in, of course, inspired by Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. Um, this was just like a random look I came up with one day. I just went for it, and this was the outcome. Um, I love Harley Quinn, and I love clowns, so I mixed them together. I am using the Morphe 35C palette and the Urban Decay Electric palette. I'm sorry that the footage is kind of like cloudy. I don't know what exactly happened. Or why it's like that but um yeah you can still it gets a little better like halfway through the video but basically if you want to see a clearer view of this you can go back to my um, glam to grunge suicide squad Harley Quinn tutorial um, I'm basically doing the eyes the same exact way that I do them in that tutorial I'll put the link down below for that one I'm basically just starting with a lighter shade of red and blue on each eye and then I go into the crease with a little bit of a darker shade of those colors and then I go in one more time with an even darker shade. And I'm not doing like a cat eye or anything, I'm just doing a simple eyeshadow shape and I'm bringing it up to my brow bone there in the front. Basically just keep deepening that crease so there's a lot of contrast and darkness. We want this to be a super glam look. Harley's look in the movie isn't like crazy glam, but make it to your interpretation. For the blue side, I'm taking the super dark blue color and the Urban Decay Electric palette. This blue is just my favorite blue of all time. It is so dark and pigmented. I love it. Now I'm going to be taking NYX Cosmetics White Eyeshadow Base, and I'm going to be putting that all over my lid on both eyes. And make sure you always tap it out with your finger before applying the eyeshadow. Taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonshout Glow Kit. I'm going to be taking Blue Ice and Blue Moon together on top of my lid and Pink Heart for the red eye. Sorry, Blue Moon and Blue Ice for the blue eye, Pink Heart for the red eye. Then taking Too Faced Glitter Glue and NYX Cosmetics Face and Body Glitter in Industrial and Red. I'll be using Industrial for the blue eye and Red for the red eye. I just apply the glitter glue and I take a Q-tip and apply the glitter. Um, because glitter can ruin some brushes, but you can use a brush, no problem. It will come off of your brush, it's not going to completely ruin it, but I just prefer a Q-tip. Just put that all over your lid. And now I'm taking some black eyeshadow and I'm just filling in the space that might not have gotten any shadow or glitter on it and also deepening up my crease with that black as well. And I just keep going back and forth with the black and the blue, the black and the red, and I keep building it up. I want to bring up that black so there's a lot of contrast in the eye, but I don't want to take it over and not make it blue or red anymore, if that makes sense. So that's why you'll add black, you'll add red, black, red, back and forth until you get the consistency or the color that you want. Now I'm applying my foundation. I'm using NYX Cosmetics Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation in Creamy Neutral. That's a really pale color, at least for my skin it is. And then I'm using their Above and Beyond Concealer in Porcelain. I'm really pale, but my skin tone is like an olive tone, 
So sometimes some colors of foundation look really pale on me, but on others they look really kind of darker. So just go with what your skin tone best matches, obviously. Now apply some powder to all the concealed areas. Now I'm applying blue ice into the corner of the blue eye and pink heart into the corner of the red eye and also doing those colors to my brow bones. Fill in your waterline with a black pencil. I'm using NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. And now I'm bringing the blue to the underneath of my eye. I'm really dragging it out a lot. Um, I'm not going to do the like smear marks on the sides of her face though until after I do highlighting and contouring because to me I feel like if you do the smears first and then you go in and highlight and contour you're just going to cover up the smears so I'm just smoking out the underneath of my eyes before I do any of that do the same for the red eye And everyone thinks the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn is pink and blue. The only thing pink and blue on her is her hair. Probably because the red got really faded. Okay, everything else on her is red and blue. Just keep that in mind. And I'm applying those same highlighters to each side of the face. Now I'm going to contour my face. I'm going for a pretty deep contour. I just love a deep contour in general. You don't have to go as deep as I am, ever, honestly. I just use my Lorac uh, Cosmetics Pro Contour Kit. Contour your jawline, your cheekbones, and your forehead, and your nose. After contouring, I am taking the NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and I'm mapping out, or I guess I'm just drawing the clown, the white portions of their eyes. I'm going for a more, like an older type of clown. And then I'm just taking some white eyeshadow base with a little brush, and I'm going over that eye pencil because it did come out a little patchy. So this will just help clean it up and make it a solid white color. And then you can just fix your eyeshadow once you finish doing that and drag it over the white areas so it blends all together. Now I'm just setting it with some white eyeshadow because that stuff will move if you don't set it. Now I'm doing the dragged out sides of her eyeshadow, I guess you could say. And I'm just bringing it down and tapping it out towards the end so it's not straight lines. You want it to start as thicker lines and then kind of drag out or like smear out, I guess, towards the end. Now I'm taking Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Trooper and I am drawing out the little lines above and below the clown, the clown eyes. Um, this look is can be done totally 100% with just regular cosmetics. I did go over the black lines with some paint though because they weren't black enough to me, but honestly, like you don't have to do that. This looked totally fine. This can all be done with beauty related products, no paints, no special effects, none of that. This is where I go over it with some paint, but you totally do not have to do that. The Kat Von D liner is just not black enough for me. If you have a liner that's way blacker, go for it. Now I'm filling in my nose black because we're going to be putting some red glitter on top of that for a little clown nose. I have some people argue with me and tell me that Harley Quinn's not a clown. And I'm like, do you know what you're talking about? She's a Harlequin. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. And the Joker is a clown. Duh. Now we're moving on to lips. I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Paint and Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick in Rich Blood. I'm doing rich blood on the top lip. Just apply it as normal, but I'm going to be dragging the top out lip out a little bit on the corners there. Just a little bit. I'm 
I'm really slow at applying lipstick. It's like the slowest thing I do. And as you can see there, I'm just dragging it out a little bit on the sides. And now with the blue, be careful not to mix the red and blue together. It will create purple. I did get a little bit of red on the bottom lip. And it did get mixed together, so just keep your mouth open as it dries so they don't mix too much. And I've lost the footage, but I basically dragged out the sides of the blue there. You can just use a brush to create those really tiny lines, like a jokerish kind of smile. And also take a brush and clean up the lips as well. That's the easiest way. The brush with the liquid lipsticks is really hard to use. And I wrote rotten on the wrong side of my face, and I did it backwards. I took it off and did it on the right side of the face, as you can see right here. <laughs> I totally messed up. Also draw a little heart on the red eye. And now I'm just bringing some black paint down to make it look like she was crying because she's sad. Just add some excess water to your paint. And then you can just take a dry brush with no color on it and drag it out even more to make it look more watered down. And then I'm just drawing some decorative dots. Y'all know I like my decorative dots. You don't have to do this part. I just think they're cute. I just them around my eyes. Nowhere else, though. But that's it, guys. Here's my sad Harlequin inspired by the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn look. As I said before, I'll post my other Harley Quinn makeup looks down below in the description box in case you're looking to be Harley and you want to switch it up or be a little different than the normal Harley. I've got lots of looks for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any do any recreations, just tag me on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.